we're going to move on to the um, cleaning of a Nexus, um, just normal, regular, without the auto kit on it. So um, dead easy. I've done them before, but I just wanted to put all these new ones in this new help playlist that we're doing. Um, so what I'll do is we'll show you the the, the comes with a plate. The Nexus when it when it arrives, it comes with this plate which is for stopping the water coming out the bottom drain. So obviously this that I'm showing you now is a gravity fed Nexus. Um, we will do a pump fed one event when I go round to one of the ponds that we've done a pump fed system on. Um, so what we'll do first is I'm gonna show it you um, if you put a four inch ball valve or a four inch valve from the bottom drain. So let's do that first and I'll show you how it, I'll, well, Paul's gonna show you how it clears. So just give me a sec. There's the Nexus, it's a 320. It's been running what, eight years, seven, seven, eight years now. Um, dead easy. It's a, it's a really easy system. It's a four inch bottom drain line coming into there. And then underneath you've got, we've changed the very pump, comes up the back there into the UV. And then we split it down there. One going back to this wall here and then the other one's going down to the other side of the pond down there. So these are our quarantine tanks. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to switch the pump off. Do it on the very pump pole. Oh, yeah. So switch that off, and then we're going to put the plunger, which we showed on the other video. But anyway, put that down, and then it's a simple case. The air pump's already rigged up to it. He's just turning that valve, right? And then we're going to shut the four-inch ball valve, so no water now can get in from the pond, and no water can get out of that centered center chamber. So now this centre chamber is totally independent. So you can see the muck coming out. And it's bubbling away inside. Yep, so you can all see all the small stuff and everything that's coming out of there, it's great. This was done two days ago, so we'd normally not done it today, but because we're doing this video, we just thought we'd do it. But because we're going to do it twice, we'll make it quick, but we normally leave this running for probably about five minutes. Um, giving it a really good thing, but the good thing you can do it again afterwards, so you can just do you can do more than one clean. Um, on the Nexus, so it's dead easy. Um, and also, because you've switched the four inch ball valve off, right, there's 2,000 gallons of water in that pond waiting to get back in the, through that line. So when you do open it, when the center chamber's empty, when you open that four inch line, which I'll show you, the purges the bottom drain line as well, so it's good. Right, Paul, empty that. So the, the larger valve on the Nexus, that's going straight to waste. So even that media there, that's been in there for the full seven years. We've never touched that media. It's always been the same. The same with the media on the outer chamber. We've never changed it, never found a need to change it. It's been working great. These ponds get hammered quite a lot. These have got new fish in from the um, October, November trip to Japan. Um, so they get, they're heavily stocked. And now the, the bio is just absolutely bomb proof really so we don't have to do anything it's you know we can treat them we can dump loads of fish in at any one time and the water always stays great so it's just gone below where the air is
So what we'll do now is we'll fill it back up. We'll show you what to do now when you fill it back up again. So that valve there can be closed now. Um, this one here, because then we'll turn the air back in to the outer chamber. Yeah. It's almost empty. Okay, so that's all empty. So if we turn the turn the waste off, so we'll close the waste valve. Then we open the four inch. You might see some debris coming in, some waste. It's not too bad. So the air valve's already been switched over to the outer chamber. And then when the inside level reaches the level of the outside, we'll, we'll take the plunger out and we'll switch the pump back on. Okay, so the plunger out. And then we're gonna switch the pump back on. And that's it, that's running again now. So it's took, you know, obviously you can leave it bubbling a little bit longer, um, but that's how long it took. You know, it's simple, very, very simple um, to clean them, really easy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you the one that with the with the paddle that comes with it, right? So if we start again, so if Paul, if you switch the pump off, put the plunger down. And then what we're gonna do now is use this there and then that'll fit into the slots which are there. Then we're gonna turn the valve over, over again. So we're gonna agitate the middle. So again, we're still getting some out on our second go. And the good thing about also, one of the good things about the Nexus is that this centre part, it really adds nothing to the bio of the, of the pond. I mean, it will add some, but you can clean that out 20 times a day if you wanted to. It really makes no difference. to As long as you leave this alone, then the mechanical side of it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can clean it as and when you, when you feel like. We find it quite therapeutical. Therapeutic. Not therapeutical. Sounding like you now. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is going to open the waste. So this is going to drop. but we would always recommend putting a four inch valve on the system from the bottom drain. Also, because if you ever want to take the next off or you know you can shut the water off from the pond, it's always a good thing. Maybe these gates are more for the um, pump fed version, but you'll get a little bit of water coming out through them. Now we can switch the air over. Now that's running again back into the um, into the bio, and then that's just going out.
but it's good with the lid. It's different than our other Nexus in, in the retail side because we have to have it open all the time because people are coming in looking at them, seeing how they're working and stuff like that. So that's why it's really algaed up. Whereas this pot, it's got the lid on it um, and it really doesn't get that dirty inside. Okay, that's gone down the, um, down the waste. So if we close that waste, Paul, and then we'll take that out. Just pass us that then, Paul. See, the only issue is, say if you are, if you're using the paddle, is the only issue is that when you are, when you want to do a second clean and you start to put that in, that can come up and splash you, so. So again, just wait for it to fill. It and then we'll turn the pump back on and we're running again stick the lid back on Paul and then it's um... water quality is always great so that's a Nexus 320 so it's exactly the same for a 220 um, gravity fed clean um, and that's done it with both the four inch ball valve or a four inch slide valve, whichever way you want to, whichever one you want to put on there. And it's done with the paddle that comes with the Nexus when you buy one, when it comes, to, when it gets delivered. Um, and that's it. So uh, dead easy, um, really simple system. And it's one of those again, where only you can tell how many times it's going to need cleaning. You know, we say, you know, them ones in there, when we've got brand new fish in and we're quarantining, we'll clean probably um, every day. Um, because we want to get, make sure there's no muck in, inside that uh, mechanical side. But some people clean them every week, some people clean them twice a week. You'll know because it's your system, you'll get to learn that. So, but that's it. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one.